Hi, welcome back to NFT Gaming and for today's video, I'm gonna do a video about Min 4. So I know most of you will probably do not know how much the EXP gain for each of the classes. However, do not be afraid since I have a few friends that have done the job for me. Now as you can see over here, this is the table that me and my friends have actually done for the past two weeks. And definitely this is just a rough estimate and not an accurate representation of the experience gain. The reason I say that is because each class have their own benefits such as that our beliefs will have much more creep compared to a sorcerer as you guys know melee would have a disadvantage when there's a lot of people farming in the area so for the past two weeks me and my friend have actually been farming in abandoned mine first floor second floor and the third floor and do remember that this character that we have used is on a different server than the current server that i am in which is server 142 and the reason why me and my friend do not actually reveal our names for this server is because a lot of people over there is an so if you guys are an who actually threaten us content creators who actually make a video about me for they suggest you guys to actually reflect on what you are doing since threatening on us doesn't work that much now back to the topic how much exp can each class gain we are going to look at the first table so the first table as you can see over here the level for each classes is around level 65 and the power is about 75k so when we were doing the test some of us have a power of around 74.5 while some have 76.1k so in every we take about 75k and we will see which classes can actually farm better and faster oh and so do take note that it always on a full vigor and on 320% exp so the test that we did is on a better mine first floor second floor and the third floor and if we take a look over here the warrior is earning about 121k the lancer is about 115k the taoist is about 124k sorceress is about 131k and ablis is at 139k so as you can see over here for five minutes of farming, Ablis actually have gained about 10% more than the warrior class. And if we head over to the second floor, you can see that the EXP actually increased a little bit for each class. But the difference of EXP gain for Sorcerer and Ablis is quite high. Which you can see over here, the Sorcerers actually gain an additional 4.7k EXP every 5 minutes and Ablis about 6k EXP every 5 minutes. However, if you are planning to actually train on the third floor, the EXP gain for almost Almost all classes actually reduces and is not a really a good place to farm. If you notice over the second table, you can see that for a one hour farm, Abelis still tops at farming the mobs. And if we turn it with 24 hours, exactly the same with full vigor, 320% EXP. Abelis top it off with almost 42 million EXP every 24 hours that you are able to AFK. So what does this table exactly mean for my channel? If you guys do not know yet, my channel is all about earnings and this exp table doesn't seem to correlate with my channel however that is not true since i'm showing you guys which classes is the best for you to farm and get to level 60 as fast as possible because once you reach level 60 you can actually mine much more peaceful compared when you are at level 45 so you guys to know what is my strategy for mill for currently the strategy is quite simple i'll try to make every character level 75 in order for me to mine at the red moon valley and as you guys know red moon valley do not have a lot of people and when i'm in the server 42 there's only less than 100 players have reached level 75 so what i'm saying is that once you have a character at level 75 you can basically mine the area for 24 7 without anyone disturbing you and to tell you the truth one of my clan mates in server 142 actually tried to mine for 24 7 and he was able to mine about 2.5 million by mining the red and yellow every single time and when i mean every single time is only only when he is awake and not when he is sleeping so as you can see over here once you reach level 75 your potential mining every single day is about two to three million depending on how active the account taking the rate and the yellow duck steel and since i'm planning three accounts i can actually get about six million duck steel every day and if you convert it into draco that's about 60 draco and as you guys know the draco price actually falls below one dollar and right now is about 90 cents so same that the price stays at 90 cents to one dollar your potential earning can be about 50 to 60 dollars every single day and if the price actually bumps up to three dollars then your earnings triple which can go about 180 dollars every single 
the day with those three level 75 accounts. However, reaching level 75 is not an easy feat since the duration it takes from level 1 to 75 is about two months. So my question for you guys is, are you all willing to actually train your character to level 75 and mine for 24 seven? Or would you guys just rather create level 45 character and start to mine at Snake Pit Valley? And of course, if you love this kind of content, do give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Until then, I will see you guys again the next time.